Hi, I'm Sarah Morgan. Thank you so much for booking your portrait session with me. I look forward to working with you. Now I know being photographed can be a bit stressful for some people, so I've created this short video to help you to prepare for your session. I can't wait to meet you and I'll see you soon. This video provides everything you need to know to prepare for your portrait session. I'm going to start with clothing because the number one question I get asked is what should I wear? Clothing selection can be stressful and it really is a major component of any good portrait, so prior preparation is essential. First, select clothing that matches or complements your brand, website, and business colors. Kim chose a sweater that matches the color of her business's font and logo. This is reflected throughout her marketing and social media, making it cohesive. Avoid any bold, busy patterns and clothing with logos. Once you've chosen your colors, decide if your business image is very professional or more casual, artsy, holistic, or trendy, and select your clothing accordingly. Wear something you feel really confident in as confidence radiates. Start getting your clothing together a few days prior to your session. This is important to reduce the stress of having to coordinate outfits the day of your session. Be sure to try everything on. Ladies, make sure your top or dress fits and doesn't pull across your chest or gape under the arms. Check to see if your top is sheer and needs a camisole or a particular undergarment and pack them. Gentlemen, check that your suit jacket fits and your shirt is not too tight or ill-fitting in any way. Make sure your shirts are pressed and you have a belt, tie, and cufflinks if needed. And ladies, please note, if you want to minimize body size, wear tighter clothing. I know this sounds counterintuitive, but if you wear a loose-fitting top or dress that hangs like the one I have on in the left-hand photo, I can't do anything to contour or shape your body in post. In the middle photo, I have on a tighter top which has already slimmed me down quite a bit, and in the right-hand photo, I have contoured my body in Photoshop. Another way to minimize body size for both men and women is to wear darker colors. To slim down around her face, wear a scoop or v-neck top. The elongated neckline tricks the eye into thinking the face is slimmer, but stay away from necklines that are plunging or too revealing. Make sure your clothing is pressed and free of holes, tears, rips, stains, and especially lint and pet hair. Check that all buttons are attached and zippers work. Bring several clothing options to your session so I can help you select which is best. I want you to bring at least two outfits. If your business image is very professional, bring at least one very professional outfit and one with a little more personality so you have two completely different looks. If your business image is casual, bring a couple of casual outfits. I want you to get the most bang for your buck. Have all clothing, belts, ties, accessories, and jewelry packed and ready to go the night before. The day before your shoot, make sure to drink lots of water to hydrate your skin and eyes and go to bed early to get a good night of rest. Styling for your shoot. Hair. Get your hair cut and or colored at least one week prior to your session to let the style set and look natural. It's not advised to get your hair cut the day of or the day before your shoot. Make sure your hair is clean the day of your shoot. Makeup. Makeup should be natural and not overdone. If you do your own, wear it as you would on a work day. If you're using a makeup artist, ask her for a natural daytime look. If you do not usually wear makeup, I recommend wearing at least mascara, blush, and lip gloss. If you're using my makeup artist, she's a pro and will do a great job for you. Skin care. My basic retouching includes removing blemishes, but avoid tan lines and sunburn as I may not be able to retouch it and you will incur an additional fee. Gentlemen, please be clean shaven or if you wear facial hair, be sure it's groomed and the rest of your face is clean shaven. Glasses. If you normally wear glasses, wear them for your portrait. But to avoid glare or darkened lenses, ask your optician to remove the lens temporarily or ask to borrow a similar frame for your shoot. Some glass glare may not be able to be removed. Jewelry. Keep your jewelry to a minimum unless your business is high style or fashion. Your portrait should be about you, not your accessories. On the day of your shoot, 
Ladies, please bring your hairbrush, comb, and hairspray to tame flyaways. All clothing and accessories. If you're not using a makeup artist, bring your makeup to do touch-ups, especially lipstick or gloss. And if you have not scheduled the makeup artist, arrive at the studio with your makeup done the way you want it in your portraits. Gentlemen, may bring any hair products you might need. Be clean shaven or have your beard trimmed or groomed. Bring all clothing. Bring your tie and cuff links if you plan to wear them. And it's a good idea for everyone to bring eye drops. Arrive at your session a few minutes early. Take a minute to breathe, relax, and shake off your commute. Enter feeling as confident and relaxed as possible. When you arrive, I'll welcome you and get you settled. If you have any features you're self-conscious about, please let me know at this time. In most cases, these issues can be fixed with retouching or posing, and then I want you to forget about them and enjoy your session. The studio is a safe place, and you can be completely open and honest with me. When I begin photographing you, relax and breathe. I will direct and pose you from head to toe throughout your entire session. So just relax and trust that I'm capturing great photos of you. We'll take a couple dozen photos so you'll have plenty to choose from. The images you select will receive uh, basic retouching. This includes whitening eyes and teeth, removing blemishes, lightening under eye circles, and softening crow's feet. So you really don't have anything to worry about. I want you to just breathe, relax, smile, and enjoy. You're in a safe space. Now I want to address COVID for just a minute as my client's health is a main priority. All safety protocols are followed, including the studio being disinfected before each session. I wear a mask throughout every session. Lots of hand washing and sanitizing happening. I will not photograph anyone if I feel sick and I ask my clients to notify me if they feel sick so we can reschedule. Any linens and props used are laundered between sessions and at least two hours is scheduled between sessions if not more. My goal as a professional photographer is to create beautiful, professional, honest portraits of you. And it all starts with you being prepared. I hope this video helps you feel a little bit more prepared for your session. Again, thank you for booking with me and I look forward to meeting you.